9, 8, 7, 6. Historical data? Mm, sorry, that's not the right answer. Audience, any guesses? Statistics. Who said statistics? Yes. She's got the right answer. Yeah, the right answer is statistics. So I guess you're the first audience to get a goodie. Congratulations. Make good use of it. It will be useful for your reading and writing. Mm -hmm. Right. So we'll go to uh, team B. The question to you is, which of these is the third level in the TMA model? Time starts now. Optimization, integration, management, or defined. A optimization. Unfortunately, that's not the right answer. That's the topmost level. Uh, is your organization in CMM uh, level three? Okay. So it, it's optimization is the topmost, but unfortunately, that's not the right answer. The right answer is, is defined, which is the third level in TMI. And for those who do not know about TMI, TMI is a model very similar to CMI, but specifically meant for testing and as process level similar to the CMI. So probably you can take a wild guess next time when a question like that comes out. Yeah. So moving on to team C, your question is, which of these review types is found to be the most effective? Your time starts now. Is it informal reviews, walkthrough, peer reviews or inspection? Peer reviews. Peer reviews? Sure. Wrong again. The right answer is inspection. So when you say effective, it's uh, against the time you spent in the effort review against the output you get. Though peer reviews are the most structured and get more output, uh, inspection is informal but gets you more results. So inspection is the right answer. So we'll move on to team D. Team D, the question to you is, which of these is not a software metric? Is it lines of code, cyclomatic complexity, function power analysis, or code reusability? Source lines of code. Are you sure? HCL has a strong metric system, I believe. <laughs> no, unfortunately, the right answer is audience. Any guesses? Who said? Yes. Why is it function point analysis? Can you explain? Exactly. The rest of them, uh, though they are raw data, they can be used as a metric, though the basic of data. But function point analysis is a metric where which you comp, uh, ex find out the effort to test or do an ex test execution. I guess we have a goodie for them. Can you come up also, please? I mean, yeah. So, moving on to team E. We also have Julian participating in the event. We have some audience questions, probably could pass some to you, yeah. So, team E, the question to you is, which of fuzzing is a form of what? Your time starts now. Fuzzing is a form of what? Absolutely wonderful, yes, it is distracted testing. Give them a big round of applause, please. <laughs> do you do it in your organization? How did you, so probably you could explain for the benefit of others, what do you do? Are you able to hear him? I guess the mic is not working. You can use my mic. Using values which are not defined for the application beyond the limits, those all come under first testing. Correct. And what are the application? Why do you use first testing? Where do you use it? Uh, like usually, like there are instances like when we give these numbers, like we get DB script errors right. in the application. So like we give these kind of numbers. Okay. How many of you have heard of Dr. Watson? Can you explain what Dr. Watson is? It's kind of a tool actually that is earlier it is used to find out the bugs actually. Right. No, Dr. Watson is a tool developed by IBM to provide uh, a logic based answer based on intelligence. Yeah. But so when you have a situation where you cannot actually determine what the kind of response is going to be and uh, it's like a healthcare system. You walk in there, you expect the software to identify your issues. You don't know what the outcome is. So there you cannot use your regular logic. That's why you use fuzzing as a part of logic. So unfortunately, we don't have too many uh, rounds here. So we'll move on to the next uh, question for team E. 
Oh, sorry. I guess we are done. So, I guess we have an audience question. Which of these can be considered as a glass box testing? I think this is the easiest question that could anybody ask for a tester. <coughs> Absolutely. See, we are giving out gifts for literally free, please. Yes. We ha yes, white box testing is the right answer. Okay. So, we will now move on to a little bit of stuff. So, probably we will now officially come to the end of the round one. So, probably I think we, can, we should take stock and then announce the scores. So, praise, do you have the scores at the end of round one, please? Okay, so at the end of round one, team E is leading with 20 points. <laughs> team B is at second position with 10 points. And team A, C and D have yet to open their account. But way to go guys, you can catch up. I guess we have a tiebreaker with all the other teams. Huh? Great. Great. So we will now move on to the next round which is our audiovisual round. So we have three rounds here. So the first two are the visual rounds where you get a pictorial and you have to identify and respond. The third round is the uh, video round. Right. So we will move to the first round of the audiovisual round. This round is on testing models. Uh, this should be fairly simple to all you guys who worked on processor models. So the first question to team A is, name the STLC model depicted below. It can be more, any more easier than this. Is it V model, iterative V model, W model or agile model? Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Is it iterative V model? Sorry, that is not the right answer. Uh, anybody, any guesses? It's there on the screen. It is the W the model. W model. <laughs> right? You can't get easier than this. You don't even have to know testing to answer this. Actually, it's a W model. It's there right in front of you. Right? right. The question to team... B is identify the model below which is used to assess test processes. Is it capability maturity model, test process assessment, test maturity model or testing maturity model integration? Nine, eight, Test maturity model integration. Are you sure? I am so sorry. But it is the right answer. <laughs> it is the right answer. Yes, I did give the answer just a few minutes back. It is test maturity model integration. Right. Team C, are you ready? Right. The question to you is, identify the testing type based on the quadrants below. Is it cloud testing? Is it agile testing? Database verification or mainframe? Ten seconds left. Nine, eight. Cloud seven. testing. I'm so sorry again. The right answer is actually agile testing. Team. D. The question to you is, identify the software development process shown below. Is it iterative, STLC, extreme programming or TDD? Absolutely right. Give them a big hand, guys. It is test driven development. <laughs> Congratulations, HCL team. So, we'll move on to the next cognizant theme. The question to you is identify the depicted software product quality model. Is it ISOIC 29119? Is it 2001, 9126, or 17025? Nine, 
9 b 8 b sure absolutely wrong answer <laughs> it is iso 9126 sorry oh we'll have pass question among the teams also if you don't mind so probably the next time we don't get the answer we'll actually pass it on to you <laughs> okay <laughs> Great. So the right answer is ISO 9126. But can you explain what the model is about since you know about it? Yeah. Um, can you use a mic if you don't mind? Yeah. It is the uh, testing uh, process model, right? Like TMMI mm -hmm. and then um, this ISO 9126 uh, found out by IEEE and then there is a step mm -hmm. and there is one more uh, model which I could uh, not remember. So these are the uh, testing uh, models which is trending up now. Right. Yeah, close, but not quite. But any other question? Probably audience, do you know, any of you have you seen ISO 9126 model and why is it useful? It's basically a software product uh, quality model. Uh, this model does not measure how the product is developed. It did not worry who developed it. Or oh, It's a wonderful model. It just measures the product for what it is. A team develops the product, hands it to the end client. So the end client can just take up any of these uh, features. It's a uh, functionality, reliability, usability, and measure the product for how it performs, where it performs, is it used to port, uh, can it be portable for some other feature generation, is it maintainable? So this has to me measure, and the outcome is a metric-based outcome, which gives an exact number, yeah. Efficacy. Yes, efficacy, great. Oh, you got onto the term, good, sure. So the question to Julian is, Identify the quality model below. Is it ETSI, Bohm's, QLHIX, or Meckel's? <laughs> yes, that's how all developers work, and that's why we testers are around here. <laughs> Great. So, audience, any guesses? Who said C? Wrong answer. Wait, hang on. <laughs> yeah? The actual answer is D, it's McCall's quality model. This is one of the, the earliest quality models that are developed in the software testing industry. He developed this somewhere early back in 1986 itself, where he defined, started defining how should a product or process be uh, measured and what models. And he's published a lot of publication. And this thesis was used later on for all the other following quality models. Right? Great. Uh, good. Now we'll move on to the next subject. <laughs> Scares me sometime actually. Yeah. This is cycle two. This is on testing tool. The tool is about identifying the testing tool by the logo. So you will not have anything. You just have the logo. So all of those who are automation freaks, please hang on to answers. Uh, have you worked on automation earlier? Okay. Any of the teams which are automation teams? Have you worked on automation? Have you? Which are tools that you've used? Okay. Any open source tool. If you have taken open source tool just to um, uh, spread the awareness as well because most of the commercial you paid for and you, are, you have to know what you are paid for. But this is a more of a commercial tool. Right. So any of the tools which are, uh, teams which have worked on automation. Have you worked on automation? UTP. Commercial. Yeah. No, right. Okay. team. <laughs> okay. So we will move into the round. So the first question to team A is identify this open source automation tool by the logo. Still have 20. Ten seconds left. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. It can be wife's names also if you want. Four, three. Time out. Sorry. Uh, time out anyway. Even if you had said the right answer, I couldn't take it. Any guesses, anybody in the room at all? Sorry? High macro. High macro? Okay. Uh, no, no. That's not the right answer. Any other guesses? Swish. Swish? No. Swish has a different logo. Right? I'll give you the answer. The answer is Watir. Right? It's an open source functional testing tool. The next one, you should not miss this one. Right? Most of you have used it at, or probably seen it, but probably I don't know if I identify the logo. The question to team B is, identify this open source tool by the logo. Selenium? 
no that is not the right yes but why is it a, under a testing tool anybody can anybody answer yeah absolutely yes it is actually a more of a development tool but it is start gaining popularity as a testing tool as well it is soap ui so don't go with the starting names <laughs> This one should be easy. Uh, easy. I mean, I don't know even if you can guess by the starting alphabets. So try your luck. The question to TMC is, identify this open source automation tool. Take your wildest guess if you want to. Time is running out, TMC. Yes. Rational robot? RT. <laughs> it can even be rational, uh, Russian television, right? RT. <laughs> Sorry, that's not the right answer. Any guesses? Anybody? Telerik. Absolutely, Telerik. Oh, but, yeah. Well, I'll pause on the question. Uh, probably I'll pause <laughs> Yes, the right answer is Telerik. Which team, uh, which company are you from, please? Which one? I, I couldn't get it. Okay, great. So, I guess you try out all the aut automation tools, right? Yeah. I, Okay, you are prohibited from answering any more questions now, right? I can't give out all the good things to you. Yes, you are in the same finals as well, but you are not in the finals, right? The next question to team D is, identify this open source tool, please. Saroja. <laughs> so this because it starts with a S. Wrong answer. Do you want to try again because you want it for a rerun, no? no? <laughs> Any other teams? Uh, do you? Sahi answer. Sahi. <laughs> Congratulations, Sahi. Good. Move on to team E. Are you guys ready? You seem to be very happy with this session, right? So, any, any specific reason? Oh, you already know the answer for the next one or the previous one? No? Shall we go to the question, please? Right. The question to you is identify this tool. You can't even guess the name also, no? There's no starting letter here. Nine, eight, seven. Take a guess. Six. Uh, rational robot. Again, rational robot. Take some different guesses. Be innovative in guesses at least, right? It is not the rational lobo. Cha, robo, sorry. Any other guesses? Sorry? Puppet traps. Who said that? Can you come over, please? How do you know this tool and why is it popular? Don't feel sorry that you answered. Recently, I was just piloting a, an automation tool, and we just I just come across these things and just have gone through the you know site. So what is special about this tool? I, 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 I didn't much explore into that actually. It's the, I think it's a UI based uh, this thing. It is, uh, but this is touted to be the one of the top five upcoming tools in the industry, right? And it is one of the recently developed, probably not more than a year old, if I remember right. Yes, the right answer is Puppet Labs and congratulations on your gift voucher. Now, the next question to the audience, please do not spell out the answer. Do not even uh, speak until I pick out the uh, uh, respondent, right? So, question audience is, I did for the automation tool by the logo. You have to name the tool and not the firm. Do you know the tool name? If, now you raise your hands. Raise your hand. I saw six, seven hands. Uh, yeah. Is somebody at the back? Yeah. Sorry? No? Quick answer, but wrong answer. Not quick rock. Any other guesses? So auto tweet. Bus tweet. <laughs> Lorry tweet. Any other guesses? Retweet. No? Tweet tweet. Tweet tweet. No. 
or at least you don't have to name it or can you tell me what it is used for i'll i'll give a goody for that <laughs> automating what <laughs> 